Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can turn on game mode in various different TVs. Now when you turn on game mode it will slightly reduce the input or the display lag. So for example, if you were to do something on your controller like turn left or right or shoot, the time it takes for that to actually happen on the TV. You want that to be as low as possible. Now, when you turn on game mode, you might suffer slightly worse graphics, so it might not look as nice because it turns off some of the processing that the TV does to make the image look better. Now, that's up to you if you want to do it or not. If you're doing a very fast-paced first-person shooter game, then it might be beneficial to have game mode on. But then other games like Minecraft or various other games, it might not make a difference and you might prefer to have better graphics. So first of all, see if you can do it on your TV and then see if you can notice any difference. I'm going to be doing it on a few different TVs in the house. Similar kind of process. Hopefully you'll be able to work it out on the TV that you've got in your home. Now on this Samsung TV, we have to have something plugged into the HDMI port to enable you to turn game mode on. So if you've got nothing plugged into your TV and it's greyed out, don't worry, when you actually plug your console into the TV, then hopefully it won't be greyed out anymore. But I'll show you what I mean. So on this TV here, it's nice and straightforward. As you can see, I've got my Xbox One S connected up. I go to settings, this button here and I'm going to go to where it says picture, I'm going to go down to special viewing mode. So I'm going to use the right arrow to get across and I'm going to go down to special viewing mode and press OK, the middle button or enter. And then you see here I've got game mode, the second one down. At the moment I've got it turned on. You can obviously turn it off. So by default it will probably be on off. So when you see it here you will see that it's off. Obviously if you've got sports mode enabled or HDR plus mode enabled, then the game mode will be greyed out. So for example, now I've got HDR plus mode on, you can see that I can't select game mode. Again, if I was to turn that one off and turn sports mode on, you will then see that game mode again is unavailable. So you might have to change your settings to get the game mode to come on. So let's go to game mode and it says here, enable game mode for optimal speed when playing video games with a gaming console. Once enabled, there may be a slight decline in the graphics quality. So like I mentioned earlier, so let's turn that on. So nice and simple, that's how you turn on game mode. Now, if I had that turned off, and if I was just to go to a, another source, so for example, if I was just to go to normal TV, and again, if you then went to your settings and went to special viewing mode, you can see again, game mode's blanked out. So you have to go onto the HDMI source that your games console is plugged into. So let's just go back again, go to source, go to my games console, settings, picture, special viewing mode and game mode and then turn it on. Right, so that's how I do it on this 4K Samsung TV. Let's go do it on a few other TVs. Okay, here we have an old Hitachi TV. This is a full HD TV and on this one you need to go to menu and then you need to go to picture again and just press OK. And if you have a look up there where it says mode, at the moment it's on natural, but I can change that to cinema and game. So I change it to game there. Now, on this particular TV, I don't know if it actually does anything to the picture apart from adjusting the contrast, brightness, sharpness, and the color. I don't know if it does anything to the actual processing of it or not. But again, you can actually change it on your one just to see if it does make a difference. So then I can just press return to get away from that and return again. Okay, so now that TV's on game mode. Let's try another one. Right, again, this is a Samsung TV. This is a 1080p TV. And on this one, again, I've got my Xbox One S connected up to it. I'm gonna go to menu. And this time it's not under picture. So also, although it's a Samsung TV, it's in a different place. So on this one, you need to go down to where it says system there, and then you need to press the middle one there and you need to go to 
all the way down to where it says general. So if you have a look down there, it says general, and I'm going to press OK. And if you have a look there, it says game mode, which is the top one there. See game mode up top? And if you have a look at the side there, it's got the similar write-up to what you had on the Samsung TV downstairs. Right, OK, so game mode at the moment is off, so you press the middle button, the enter button, and put it down to on. And now game mode is on on this TV and just exit out of there. So now we'll have game mode on in this one. So hopefully you'll find it more responsive on very fast moving games. And I've just got one last TV to show you, which is a very old LG TV. OK, so here we have a very old LG TV. And on this one here, you go to menu. And then we need to go across to picture. So using these buttons here, work your way across to picture and then press this OK button in the middle. And now if you have a look there, at the moment the picture mode says standard. We're gonna change that to game. So you hit the middle button, and there we go. We've got cinema, sport, game. So we're gonna move it down to game. And then press the middle button. And now it's going to be on the game setting. Now on this TV, this is a very old TV, I think it's about eight or nine years old. And on this one, again, I don't think it actually changes anything to do with the processing of the TV. I think it just changes the backlight, contrast, the brightness, the sharpness, etc. to make it look better in game mode. But I don't know if it actually changes the responsiveness of the game. In other words, the input lag and the display lag. But there you go, give it a go. To be honest, on the games that I play, I can't personally notice any difference but then other people really notice a difference but they're probably playing a lot more competitively than I would be playing myself okay so that's it now if you like the video give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out please subscribe for more how-to videos take care now bye